Hello Assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. Today's tutorial, I have a sub request for you all. I am so excited to be here building another sub request. It has been a long, long time since I've done one, and I'm finally starting to get through some of my build requests uh, via this new system, of course. So um, this one comes from a guy called GTA, uh, GTA 6, I believe. Let me just double check. GTA... 9 GTA 9 it was 6 or 9 GTA 9 thank you so much for the request bro I really really do appreciate it uh, GTA 9 asked me to build the Cobra Kai Dojo uh, from of course the Netflix series and of course Karate Kid the movies uh, I went for obviously the show version because it's the most recent one um, and uh, yeah let's take a look from the outside let's just kind of walk through the the doors here and we have ourselves a strip mall karate dojo uh, I am dressed like Johnny today of course and um, yeah, I am so sorry GTA 9 that this took a long time to build, um, well to plan really. The reason being is because I wanted to go ahead and watch the series before actually teaching you guys how to build this one. I didn't want to go ahead and build it and then it'd be kind of, you know, wrong and not very accurate. So I went ahead and watched the series, I binge watched the entire like four seasons at the moment uh, in about a week. And um, yeah, I got the entire dojo built. Let me give you the grand tour. So of course out the front we have the karate cobra kai dojo sort of sign out the front have a little bit of a grassed area little car park of course there's a road that goes along here fun fact there is actually a mcdonald's that goes here the karate dojo itself was uh filmed in georgia uh i believe i think it was in georgia um anyways we go back here we have ourselves the back door now in the series the one thing i couldn't get accurate because i went with accuracy to the real building rather than the show is uh, around here there is a fake wall that they use in the series and that is when we see like everyone in here in the back of the dojo uh, with crease and things obviously we don't want to see the McDonald's through the window because it wouldn't be kind of accurate uh, or look good and of course they didn't have like a sponsorship or anything with McDonald's so they couldn't add that in so there is a fake wall that goes in here to represent like a back alley um, where there's just a few bins and stuff but I didn't build that in the original uh, in the build here sorry so anyways, around here we have ourselves some karate poses uh, with banners here, so like high kicks and stuff. Uh, we have the Cobra Kai Dojo banner, which I thought was pretty cool. I went ahead and made that myself. Uh, it looks like a bit of a, a cobra, which is cool. We have the trophy kind of case over here with the American flag above it. More trophies. The big mirror on the back wall, which gets smashed a few times in the show. The water sort of drinking area. I'm um, a little shelf just there. We have Johnny and Kreese's office, or later to be um, Sid's office back here with the photocopier. Uh, we have ourselves kind of the desk, a little lamp on the desk, some sheets of like the timetable and stuff, uh, a little coffee machine, just some more kind of office-y things, and then the file cabinets back here. If we come out of the dojo, uh, sorry, the office, into the actual main dojo, we have the strike first, strike fast, no mercy sort of sign up here. Uh, we have a little sort of dummy uh, that we see in the first seasons where Johnny is teaching... Ah, uh, what's his bloody name? I've forgotten his name. Johnny is teaching Miguel. That's who I forgot. Sorry, Miguel. <laughs> we also have another little training sort of dummy here, or like a punching bag. Uh, and then if we move back from the dojo, of course the American flag there, we have the little bathroom. There is a window in here, but because the wall is kind of not on the outside, because we have this little kind of space back there for the boiler... Uh, I wasn't able to build a window in here, but if you guys wanted to, feel free to do that. Uh, this is where we see McGill in the first sort of season, having to scrub the toilet for doing the chore part of karate. <laughs> well, Johnny's chores, which is not actually part of karate, it's just getting him to do the lazy work. Uh, we have the American flag back here again, one over that side. Cobra Kai never dies on the back wall. Another punching bag, and this is kind of the back sort of storage area, but also kind of the gym of the dojo. So we have a bench um, back here for like lifting some weights, doing some deadlifts and stuff. Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's the gym. <laughs> we have some big tires. Uh, we have like another sort of dumbbell sort of rack here. Uh, another punching bag, some more stuff. And uh, yeah, there's kind of like another tire there, the boiler. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a messy sort of back area to the dojo. But yeah, it is a pretty detailed place. So uh, we're going to be getting all of this done, hopefully across two episodes, I'm thinking. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you so much GTA 9. You are a legend, bro. I'm glad to finally have your tutorial here. I hope you enjoy. Okay then, Assassins. So to begin, 
we are going to of course lay out a grid uh, which is going to be similar to this one here. What you want is 28 blocks inside your perimeter just here. So that goes along the corridor, 28 blocks this way. And then once you get down here, count this one as number one and go upwards for 43 blocks. This is your inside perimeter. Then you want to go ahead and basically make a rectangle around that so that the inside is still 43 on this going upwards and 28 along the corridor here. Awesome. Now once you have that, grab yourself some grey concrete powder, some white concrete powder, some yellow concrete, some andesite, some stone, some dorite walls, some smooth quartz block, some stone slabs, and some normal grass. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the front side and we're going to build this car park sort of area firstly. We want to go for three blocks of uh, grey concrete powder here, like so. And we're going to make sure that this goes up to about five. So two, three, four, five. And just fill all this in like this, into the ground layer like that. Now this is basically our first car park, a car park in space anyways. We're going to take some white concrete powder and just go a block further past the grey concrete powder. Then three blocks away on the four, do the same again, one block past. Basically we're trying to make sure that we have seven in total blocks of white concrete powder. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three blocks away again, another seven goes in here. Once again, three blocks on the four, the seven, and again, and basically we want to be left with four blocks ready for our actual road. So we do one more just over here, and we should be four blocks from the perimeter edge, like so. And that is perfect. Once you've done that, you can take your yellow, you can match against the border if you wish. Just add in three, four here, up again diagonal. This one goes right the way along to the other kind of ending car parking space down this way, just here. And then we're gonna run it right the way to the end of the border now, all the way up here and connect it just there if you want. Brilliant, that looks awesome. Now we're gonna fill in each of the car parking spaces here with our gray concrete powder and then this strip of road just in here. Let's go ahead and get this done guys, and then we'll hop back to building the dojo. Well there we are assassins, that looks awesome, very nice job. What we're going to do next is we're going to take ourselves our stone slabs, and we're going to build a little grass area over here. We want one, two, three stone slabs here, one, two upwards here, and then another three back diagonally to the left, like so. Fill in this little six area with grass, like so. And then we're going to take ourselves some andesite and some stone and we're going to alternate for our pathway around the dojo. So we're going to start all the way up here and we're going to go for just three blocks here past our line separating from the road. So just here for three and we can uh, kind of break all this down to this car parking space down here. Of course still keeping the yellow border the entire way around our building. Now once you get down here, when you go ahead and turn the corner for along the front of the building, we want to change the pathway to a 5 block width. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, and we're going to break out all this now, heading towards this way, just over here. All this grass needs to be punched out, and then we can start to layer the, the sort of pathway in here. It's just a very simple alternating pattern between our andesite and stone. If I show you here, I've gone a little bit random with it and it looks pretty cool. I think here we're going to add in another block, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, just so that we can cut off from this grass area and still have 4 blocks of usable path. So we'll go ahead and just make that a 6th one there. So we have this radius that needs filling in with our pathway. So let's go ahead and alternate between andesite and stone and get an entire pathway built in just here. So now we've completed that pathway, we are down to our final two materials that we still need to use. It is of course the Dorite wall and the smooth quartz block. Let's come down here, taking our Dorite wall, we want to place a couple on this yellow concrete over here. We're going to go up for about, let's say, four for now. One, two, three, and four like so. This is going to hold up that strip kind of more roof like this. Let's go in two blocks here and place one on three. All of these are going up to four by the way guys, so just keep doing that over and over. 
Here we want to leave a gap of 6 between our next one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On 7, build the 4. Once again, 6. Oh no, this one's 8. My mistake. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we go on this corner one down here. Now we're going to backtrack a little bit. We're going to go to this block here, then this block. And we're going to count from this one as number 1. And go upwards for 3. 1, 2, 3. On 4, we want to build ourselves a 4 block pillar just in here. And that will be kind of for the building uh, structure just there. Now we need to spin around again and we need to do the walls along here. So we're going to leave a gap of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here for the 4. Then 4 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, literally, and then 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 again. Then we go for another 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, just like that. So you have 6, 4, 4, 4. And now we need two lots of five. So one, two, three, four, five. On the six, build the four. And then this should be the M one. One, two, three, four, five. On the six, build the four. Up like so. Perfect, guys. Well done. Now we're going to start to get some building materials and actually build our dojo. Okay, guys, we have a lot of work to get done now. These materials are going to come in very, very useful. Let's take some white concrete, some normal glass panes, some white stained glass panes, some normal glass, some polished andesite, some black concrete, some red concrete, some black stained glass pane, and some calcite as well. First things first, we may as well get the calcite out of the way. We're going to go over to this pillar over here, and we're going to build along to the right for three, like so. And then behind it, we'll collect, connect this one, but go to our right pillar over here for another three. So one, two, three. And then of course once again like this and now we need to go ahead and turn it so it kind of goes over this pillar here for a block and now it's on the right stretch to come right the way down to our corner pillar down here like so now i'm just going to check from the underside of this it is a bit weird here we have to add in kind of another block um, to this one i think on the front side so we have to go here and then here like that. Oh, it may have been... Hold on a second. Ah, yeah. So, there. Like so. So basically you want four, then two, then two, but out from the pillar like this. So if I just go here, maybe you can pause the video just here, just in case you need to see what I'm doing here. Awesome. That looks really good. I'm going to knock that one out behind now. Like that. Awesome. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to build this upwards for two. For the entire lot of blocks we've placed in here and then as I spin around the corner here as you can see I'm going to go ahead and also make this two but I'm going to add a third layer on top of it as well so I'm going to bring this right to the very back and then I'm going to do a second layer and then I'm going to do a third layer just up here as well but miss out the first one because we're going to build that sort of arched roof to make the strip mine sort of Strip mine? <laughs> Strip more even look uh, look proper. So there we go. Just leave that block off there. Awesome, guys. That looks really good. Now, if we come around to this side, the wall here, it goes one block there and then one block up. I'm going to go along until we reach the edge of the pathway here. So we just stop just above the pathway. So there. Do that for those two layers and then go one block over just here. Like that. This one block is going to go all the way to the other side because I believe that we are now building over the actual wall of the building. So we're not going to need the space, so you can literally connect it like so. Once you've done that as well, you can drop down to the lowest point of your wall in here. So that in our case it's going to be this one. And we're now going to go ahead and make this the roof for the underside of this building. So when you're walking along the pathway, you're going to be undercover just here. So we can build this one right the way over everything. Like this. And as we're going to go around the corner here to go underneath the building as it goes kind of around this corner too, uh, we're going to need to also build the roof along for those three to cover the pathway. Well, two in our case because we already have this one done. So two just here. And build all the way across this way. 
it is going to look really weird until we've done this because uh, it looks, <laughs> you know, it looks a bit bizarre like with the layering and stuff. But that's why we're going to go ahead and smooth this back part out now, just like so, just to make it a little bit simpler to understand. There we are. And then once we do the front side here, we're also going to do a little bit of layering here. So what we're going to do instead is we'll go one, two, just here. One, two, three, four, just here. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five, just here, six, just here. And then this one can come right the way along to the other side, just there. We want to leave enough so we can curve the stairs around here once we get them later, like that. Let's fill this in. And this will all be smoothed over later as well because we're going to add in those andesite slabs for the entire rest of the roof. So for now, just close it all up, make it look cool. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks interesting, but it's cool. <laughs> Let's swap out our andesite now for this quartz block back and just add in one more block here. I'm going to grab my calcite back just in case. Awesome. Okay, the next thing to do is to go around to the uh, side over here and we're going to start to build the wall ready to go for when we uh, actually build you know, the inside of the dojo. So we'll go to here with our white concrete building upwards until we knock into the calcite there. Now we're going to go along this way and it's a total of 20 blocks. So we have number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. We're going to build this one up to the same height as the first one. So we'll literally just build like a giant rectangle here. Now we're going to come along from the front side with our red concrete and going backwards for 13 blocks and this will be for the actual major dojo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 underneath that do a row of black concrete as well for 13 now we'll take our white concrete for this layer and this layer below the two stripes and down this end we'll do two pillars here and then we'll do another pillar on this left side and in this gap of four, we'll fill over the two in line with the red. But in this little gap here, we'll take some black stained glass pane here, just for the office window. Awesome. Now this side is done for just for now. Now to the front. We are going to need to take ourselves polished andesite for the entire length of the front window here. So just cut into the dirt and add that in next to the pathway. Then we want to go ahead and take ourselves the white stained glass pane. And we'll do four of these just here. Then we'll take our white concrete and we'll go up for three. Two along and three up this side as well. So around the door frame. Glass panes for two in here and two here for like an open door. Uh, you can do... Yeah, no, that's fine actually. I was just looking at it. on um, In Minecraft, for some reason, the banners kind of cut off the glass. Look, from this angle, it looks like there's no glass there. But uh, it's an optical illusion. It is still there. <laughs> so uh, that was confusing me. But yeah, no, we put two glass doors in there, like so. Let's build up the white stained glass pane over here. Just to make it a big window. Like that. And then we'll do another four over here as well. Upwards for, of course, three. Like so. And then we can add in another white concrete pillar just here. And this one's going to go up, by the way up two blocks past our glass pane. It started to rain, that sucks. Let's keep it, it looks kind of nice. And then we'll go over here and we'll go along like that. And then we're gonna go along again this way, this time for five blocks in total. I believe we're gonna build this one up to there, bring it along just to there, and then we have our five in here. One, two, three, four, five three layers of white stained glass pane, a layer of glass, normal, normal here, normal across those four as well, and now above the door frame we literally just do glass blocks instead, like that. Awesome, that's starting to look really cool. Hell yeah, good stuff guys. So now we want to come along to the right side, down this way, and past this main pillar here. Oh by the way, feel free to fill that in if it's bugging you just like so. Yeah, cool. Uh, we want to go ahead and build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. 
another layer of 13, third layer of 13, a fourth layer of third, nope, not a fourth layer of 13, <laughs> I got a bit carried away, we're going to need to take our stripes here, so we'll do our black concrete for the 13, you can match the other side if you like, to there, and then our red, of course above that like so, good old Cobra Kai colours. Um, the reason and the best way to know if you're in the right position here is to go off of this pillar here. So basically, if you're two blocks past the pillar here, the third, that is the fourth pillar from that corner, um, then you're in the right position. All right, awesome stuff, guys. Well done. Now we're going to come on to the inside. Now, I know there's not much to look at at the moment, but we need to add in our walls for sure. Let's firstly add in the white concrete above here, just to build it the same layer as the rest of the building. Now we want to keep the rain out, so we want to go ahead and build a roof in a moment, but for now, let's build the entranceway. We're going to do ourselves red concrete here, and this goes up to that second layer of white concrete here. We will do two of these, and then we'll go for one, two, one, two, and then down this side we'll do two, two here, two again, so that's in the sort of glass doorway. And then we're going to go ahead and build ourselves, I believe it goes for a third one just in here. And then we obviously build the rest of that one too. And now what we'll do is we'll go for two in here. And then we want to build this wall down to the floor like so. So we have this wall lower than this one here. And now we can go ahead and build the trophy cabinet a bit later on as well, which is going to go obviously over this way. That looks good, that looks really good. So now whilst we have the glass panes on us, we may as well build the big mirror. We are gonna go using the red here. Obviously the trophy cabinet's gonna go in here. There's gonna be a pillar just here. We're gonna need to leave ourselves a gap of one and two, I think. I think. <laughs> and we're gonna go for one here. So we're gonna go just one. So if you come to the pillar here, go along to the wall and jump to this one. This is where you start. And we just want to go up for three here, so only on the white concrete. This one's going to go along for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And build that up to the three. Oops, like so. And that should leave you with two more blocks of your pattern just here. Perfect, guys. Well done. Yep, that looks awesome. All right, the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and mark out the office space, uh, which is, of course, going to be back this way. So we'll take ourselves next to the wall over here where we have the stripe still in the place and we're going to build the stripe across to the other side of the dojo to match this one. Add in the red as well, then of course your white concrete and this is marking out the actual dojo space. Down this way we want to add in one, two, three and another three here, then one, two, three along for this window, then three up again. Glass pane for the window, which is going to be worth six blocks in total. Now over this way, one block here, three on this side of the doorway, another three here, and this will be going along for the actual corridor. So we're adding ourselves one, two, three, four blocks for now, building up to three, like that. Now across here, leave a gap of one and build a three block here, and then this one could go along for the entire wall just here because there's nothing on this wall besides you know details for the actual dojo now back in the office space over here we want to go ahead and make sure that this wall goes to the accurate amount of blocks so I'm gonna go for those four in here but I'm actually gonna take out this one and I'm gonna go for one diagonal here a diagonal there and then I'm gonna build a wall across here like so I'm gonna build all of these upwards to the highest point of our white concrete so we're going to use the exterior wall for that measurement, which just goes here. These ones as well. And of course these ones here as well. No worries about the pattern in here because of course this isn't part of the actual dojo sort of training area. So you can leave the pattern away from this one. You can however add in yourself some white glass panes, which are going to be for the windows into the gym section. So they're just kind of like ventilation windows. So we're going to go three blocks off the ground one two three on four add in a two block window here leave a gap of one add in another one here now i'll actually extend the wall just by one there 
and maybe do it later as well just there I can't quite remember I have to check looks good looks really good now across this way of course we need to add in our bathroom just here there's going to be a doorway that goes directly behind this big wall here so leave a gap of one build upwards to your total height here and connect there if you wish drop back down to add in just enough space for a door frame so it's of course two blocks and then we need to go ahead and just mark out a um, nine block radius so we'll add in another wall here and then we'll go back for one two three adding in three here like this and then we'll build the wall along here like that let's fill this up all of this in here as you can see we've left that bit before edging uh, kind of edging off the building there uh, just so we can add in our boiler back here later so yeah little toilet in there office in here main dojo in here and a gym is going to go back here this looks awesome guys well done uh, back towards this section by the way we can go ahead and just add in ourselves a pillar in here and then we can go ahead and connect over a door frame for three blocks four blocks in there <laughs> just like so in the space here feel free to just bring the roof down a bit uh, maybe to that black concrete like so and then you can go ahead and add in like a lamp or something in there later on too um, I think what I did in the end was I yeah I just ended up adding in kind of a bit of light in the back of the gym and it kind of lights up this entire area also the light from the bathroom does the same job so that's pretty useful um, yeah that's good right now let's go into the gym area and I believe all that's left to do with these materials is take our polished andesite and we're going to go ahead and literally layer inside this area so not the entire lot of grass we only want to do ourselves this radius before reaching the edge of the yellow border that we have so leaving one layer of grass on the outside and doing everything on the inside of this room not past the corridor though you don't want to go past there so let's mark out the border together just like so basically the reason we leave a grass layer around the outside is for the edge of the wall and uh, it's going to be blackstone I think um, is that blackstone? nope that's what is that material? <laughs> deep slate tiles even so it's going to be deep slate tiles all along here but we'll do that afterwards for now though fill in this section with your polished andesite and then we'll get back to work okay guys so after doing the back of the dojo just here we are now going to grab ourselves some new materials we will need some quartz bricks an iron door crimson doors deep slate tile wall deep slate tiles some pearlescent frog lights some light grey concrete some polished dorite and some grey stained glass paint we're going to go ahead and stick ourselves the quartz bricks in here for the floor in here for the floor and in here for the floor also that little hallway so basically every grass block that is left besides of course back here go ahead and change it into the quartz bricks let's get this done and then get back to it okay so there we are it is very very bright in here now like honestly it's blinding but um, <laughs> it looks good we're going to need to take an iron door over here place it on that right wall and hopefully open otherwise you're going to have the trouble of you know trying to get it open with redstone every single time so just keep it open by placing it on the right wall like that for the crimson doors these are going to go in the back of the dojo back here and that brings us onto this back room let's go ahead and change this kind of grass exterior out to deep slate tiles and then we can finally build our back room and put a roof on our dojo so hopefully if it rains again we'll be undercover <laughs> so let's go ahead and just sort this out there we go now coming back here it's got a really cool design to it we're going to start in this corner down here where there's going to be a shelf eventually um, but firstly we're going to need to build a wall just like so that is a, a wall of deep state tiles not an actual wall <laughs> there is going to be a wall though and it goes next to it and we're basically going to alternate now between our two materials here around this exterior it is a very interesting looking wall but I think it looks pretty cool so like this uh, just need to check this one out nope it's all good keep it going I remember when I did my plan for this build 
I built the uh, the back of the dodo here, the kind of gym element to it, uh, a little bit too small, so I couldn't actually get the pattern to be consistent the entire way around. So I did have to change it up quite a few times. I think it was about four times in the end, just trying to get the plan right, which is pretty difficult. But luckily, this mall, well, this strip mall is a very very small sort of unit, um, so it was kind of easy to find where everything needed to be. And I just kind of drew a little plan out. You know, you kind of make like a little plan on paper. Uh, and that was what helped me kind of build this dojo. So it's pretty cool. And of course, watching the show, that was very helpful. <laughs> now around here, we're going to have to do ourselves double, double the blocks for this wall. Um, because of course we have the doorway here, we're going to actually just double up like this. And now over the doorway, we can leave a gap of two, of course, for our doors, which are going to be crimson back to back with the handles and then deep slate tiles across and a wall up this side as well. Then we do walls in here as we're doing before and then we go back to doing kind of a similar thing except we're going to add in a big window here which is going to be worth four blocks and it's going to be made with grey stained glass pane. So two lots of four across like so. Now you can add in yourself the wall, the tiles, the wall the tiles and then along here there's going to be wall so it goes directly beside the window and then we're going to be going back in the flow of things up this way now around this corner we actually want to go ahead and remove this wall we don't want this in here so we're just going to go ahead and literally kind of barricade it off with adding in some more deep slate tile stuff and we want to be left with three blocks of wall back here let's go ahead and change the underside of these so the underside gets rid of uh, and we actually have ourselves the deep slate tiles in here just like so wonderful yeah we have ourselves an entire Cobra Kai dojo laid out how cool is this look at that that looks badass alright let's go ahead and take ourselves the wall materials next not wall the roof materials next even so what we're going to do with these it is literally the pearlescent frog lights and the light grey concrete we're just going to go ahead and alternate oh and the polish up uh, door right we're going to go ahead and alternate these to make a nice pattern on the ceiling. Um, just like uh, every strip mall has, it's kind of those panels that go on the ceiling. They're not very um, stable either, they're kind of very flimsy. So back here I'm going to add in an entire door right sort of row. I'm actually going to do the same the entire way around the dojo. Just to keep it looking tidy. So like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down this corner, adding in my polished door right light grey, two pearlescents, door right, light grey, door right, light grey, then I'm going to do myself pearlescent again, and then a door right, and then a light grey on this end. And now I'm basically going to go ahead and pattern all this so that none of the same materials touch each other, um, apart from the frog lights of course. So excuse me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for polish door right here, and then literally do this the entire way around the dojo now. pretty simple design but it will look pretty cool once it's done also this stage is a little bit of hassle instead of having to like try and manipulate our materials into a very very fancy and extravagant pattern on the ceiling where no one's going to look there because we have quite a lot of details down below so we just want to go ahead and do this and then we'll go ahead and add in our lights afterwards so if you guys want to go ahead and do this, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera just so it's not too boring. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and literally make my pattern across to this wall over here. Uh, you know what, I'm actually going to do the same for the entire dojo. So make this chessboard looking pattern the entire way across the dojo. But don't worry about the frog lights for now, we'll sort that out in a moment. Let's get this done. Well guys, you have done an awesome job. Let me come into the light like Batman. There we go. <laughs> um, it is looking like an entire like checkers board or chessboard on the roof. And it looks kind of disgusting, I know, but it's going to look good once it's done. We're going to take pearlescent frog lights now in the main dojo area. And we want to go ahead and just light up this area. We're going to leave a gap of two between them. So we're going to do two here, another two this side. Once again, another two, and two again, leaving that gap of two. And now as we get up this side, we have to change it a little bit. We'll do two there next to the red, of course, of the entranceway. This one can keep the same, just going two like that basically until we reach the end of the wall there and then over here of course you have to kind of skip a few or at least do just one 
in there like so and then we go back to doing the two up this side like so so it gets a bit weird but that's all good and there we are that looks awesome in here by the way you can add in just like a little bit if you want maybe like a four square just so it really lights up that entrance way but it's up to you guys what you want to do there good stuff in the office here I didn't add any lights originally but I actually went ahead and added in two just now because I felt it added a bit more sort of light to the place so feel free to add one in there uh, as far as the hallway goes don't worry about that and in here we're gonna go ahead and bring the roof down let me just show you just by a layer like this um, that way we can hang a lantern from the ceiling afterwards in here we're gonna also hang some frog lights from the roof um, but not these frog lights so we'll have to grab some more but yeah guys that is all here done I think all the materials here are used up uh, I just want to check if there's another iron door I don't remember if there is but I think there could be one just on the hallway just here there is so it goes to the back just there awesome best to get that done whilst we're here so we don't have to grab it again later wonderful let's get some more materials okay guys these are the final materials we are going to need for episode one we're going to take ourselves some polished andesite stairs some polished andesite slabs some white stained glass pane some light grey carpet some light grey concrete crimson trap doors an okri frog light oc oc tree oc blah, blah, blah. I can never say that word properly really need to research that and a chain as well <laughs> let's go inside, uh, inside firstly we want to take ourselves some light grey concrete and we're going to build three and four just here but on the fourth one we're going to build straight to the ceiling just here then we're going to do ourselves three white stained glass panes here and then light grey carpet on top of that like so and that separates the trophy cabinet and waiting area from the main dojo good stuff now in here in the office where we have the windows here by the way I forgot to mention but if you wanted to change these to black concrete black concrete black stained glass even you can do feel free I'm gonna go ahead and change them up slightly by adding in these little blinds with the trapdoors like so I'm also going to go ahead and go into my toilet here I'm going to grab myself a lantern that is one material I did forget there it is I'm going to come down from the middle of the ceiling just for one and hang a lantern in there like so awesome I'm going to go into the back of my dojo now back in here and we also want to add in ourselves some lights here hanging from the ceiling these frog lights so we want to come down this way we want to go in line with this wall here the second lot of wall on the ceiling go along for I think it's going to be about two blocks one two and on three I'm going to place one here and I'm going to make sure that this goes back to three so just here like so then I'm going to add in my frog lights hanging from the chains with one in the middle like that if you want to get them to be all the same direction feel free and I'm going to do the same on the back wall over here these ones are going to line up with this right door over here also two blocks away from the wall and then of course three frog lights in total and that is literally all you need for this gym it is quite uh, quite enough light for this area which is good perfect now if we go ahead and come outside on the roof up here we of course have frog lights poking through the ceiling that is not what we want so we're going to take our polished andesite stairs we will kind of move them around in this snaking pattern and going along the front of the building like so and then finally we want to slab up the entire roof up here as you can see this is what we do here and then we add in like a row above all the stairs as well I'm going to leave you guys to do this on your own because it is going to be hard work so feel free to uh, go ahead and pause grab a drink grab a biscuit and then crack on but yeah let's get this done and then we can call it a day well then assassins we have our work cut out for us next episode we have finally got ourselves an entire dojo built from the ground up which looks awesome i must say uh, very well done to you guys for that one so uh, yeah i'm really excited to go ahead and teach you the rest of this dojo for a second i was like oh, I've, I've built it wrong but no no it's perfect <laughs> it's because i was looking at the pattern on the roof i kind of changed it from my original one just i think this looks a bit cleaner but um yeah a few <laughs> um yeah i'm really looking forward to episode two uh and uh, if you guys are as well please be sure to drop a like let me know what you're excited most to build in the comments below and if you are new around here 
please go ahead and join the assassin today for free by subscribing or at least consider subscribing uh, for future Netflix tutorials. It would be awesome to have you join our guild. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and clear out my border now and get ready for episode 2. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Have an excellent rest of your day. Don't forget to follow me up on my social medias. Links below. And I'll see you very shortly. Goodbye for now.